boom. Hey guys, um, what's up? Today we're gonna talk about four tips on how to find more work. Let's go. Okay, so I have four tips. The first one is build a portfolio. Uh, I know it's, it should be fun for you because I know I got into photography because it's fun and I started taking photos of my best friend and eventually her friend started hitting me up or my other friends on Instagram started hitting me up and eventually it turned into real work. But some things I started to realize when I wanted to get more bigger clients with a bigger budget I had to do these things. So number one, develop a awesome portfolio. And to do that, you're going to have to open up your horizon a little bit. Take product photography, take uh, uh, landscape photography, take portraits, take city. Uh, think about what businesses want. Think about what people want. Um, study what is a industry standard headshot and which ones are acceptable and which ones are not acceptable. Study what magazines want. They want skin retouching, frequency separation, dodge and burn. They want um, all, They want so many things. So these are the things that you need to practice for free. So when you're first starting out, hit up models. You can go to the Instagram section. I'll put something right here. So you just scroll up, type in um, Instagram, and, you know, open the app up look up other photographers or models in the area so search by location sometimes i'll search by la hollywood san fernando valley los angeles encino tarzana and these sorry these addresses will pop up and it'll show recent posts by people and if they're really beautiful or uh, a very cool person i'll hit them up and say hey would you like to go on a shoot and I do get some shoots, so I go and I practice my photography, I build a portfolio, and I keep that portfolio. I also post it on Instagram, so that's also another form of portfolio. But that's step two. So once you do have your portfolio established, once you do have people that you've taken photos of, maybe even testimonials, what you wanna do is create a platform, professional platform for people, businesses, uh, models, uh, companies to find you and that's making a website there's Squarespace Wix uh, so many things I don't, I'm not too professional on uh, all knowing on websites so you have to do that research yourself but once you do have your website you post and by category you know put headshots and put like five or ten uh, headshots industry standard headshots then put portrait and put all your portrait for photos in that section then put product photography put all your product photography in there and then you could price each bundle say oh i want to do headshots uh, one look or two looks for a hundred dollars don't don't shoot anything for less than a hundred bucks maybe maybe 70 or 80 especially what i know is if you find broke people, they know broke people. If you find rich clients, they know rich clients or more uh, willing to spend, you know? They understand the value of photography and so try to stay away from people trying to get you to do too much free work. So that's number one, okay? All right, number two. What you should do, num well, number two is actually done too, so make a website. Put your photos and videos and all that stuff there too. Number three. What you should do is once you have your little clips, maybe if you do videography uh, for motor, I have a motorcycle ad. I'll put it in the description. What I do is I go to two bike stores or motorcycle shops. I go in there, I'm like, hey, can I speak to your marketing manager? Can I speak to uh, the manager on site? And they come up and I'm like, hey, how's it going? How's your day? Uh, here's a video of some photos and videos I've made of photography for uh, motorcycles and motorcycle other motorcycle companies and they're like wow that's cool and I'm like look I did some research on you guys I went to Google Maps and I searched uh, your store I went and checked out your Instagram and I noticed that I can offer you a really good photo I can offer you better quality better videos than you already have on your Instagram so do your research, you know, what I do is usually I open up Google Maps, I look in my area, what stores have motorcycle, you know, and then I'll look up in their Instagram, their Yelp, their uh, website, and I'll also look at their YouTube channel and see if their content, 
if I could do better than the content they already have. So I'll go and I'll say, hey look, I'll do a free video, you can't keep it until you pay me. So it won't cost you anything, I'll shoot it for you, and if you like it, then you could pay me for it. And this is a great way because people nowadays like free work, so they don't wanna have that risk. They don't, they don't trust you, you're a new artist, they want someone that they feel comfortable with, so at this time, this period that you're getting to meet them, it's great for them to talk to you, get to know you, get your personality, and get your style down. So that's how you can get more actual clients. Uh, another thing I would stay away from, so we're still on tip number three, I would stay away from doing free work. Like I said, free work breeds more free work. So every time you do free work, someone hears about you because you're free. They're like, oh my God, that guy does free work. Okay, so I'll just hit him up for free work. That's how your name get around. So what you need to do is set a price and don't mess with your price. Don't tell people your price either. Each situation's different. One client is super easy going. They're like, Photoshop this for me. I want this product. I want the scratches gone, so you have to do a little bit of frequency separation. I want blah, 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 blah. And that takes a lot of time. You know, you have to take the product photo on good lighting, use pr professional lights. You have to use professional lights, and that client is a little bit more harder to deal with, so I charge a little extra. But someone who says, hey look, I just want my product on this flower, take a picture of it, and that's it, I'm good. I'm gonna use it on my Amazon. It's completely different. It's not the same, so don't pitch your price to everybody the same. You'll just end up working more. So the final tip is don't hit up models, hit up businesses and photographers. A lot of people are hitting up models to find work, but the way I found work, the way I actually, actually started finding real jobs, jobs that paid $500, $600, $700, is that I hit up other photographers and I said, hey look, I'm here for you man, I got your back, listen, if you ever need anybody, if you need somebody to come and help you on site, if you ever need somebody that, um, you know, to be second camera or third camera or just, do lighting, please call me man, I'm your guy, like I, I really like, I really need the work, I need the exposure, and guess what, these people that I hit up, they already had a following, they had many good photos, they had a great portfolio, they were getting clients left and right, and sometimes they would get so booked that they were like, dude, Safi's my guy, go uh, hire him because I trust him, he's on site, he'll come on time, he'll record, he's super professional, super kind, don't hit up models. Don't hit up for free work. Don't. That doesn't work. Go to Instagram, look up other photographers. If you don't have a portfolio, if you have a portfolio, do this. If you don't, then you have to hit up models and do free work. But basically, basically, I want you to hit up other photographers and ask if you could help them for free. Go on sites with them, go on shoots with them, and they are the ones that usually set you up with a job. So those are all the tips, guys. Uh, subscribe and comment down below maybe some other tips that could help me out. And thank you for watching and have a nice day.